hello welcome back to my channel this is going to be my first ever vlog so what i thought i would do is just like a little valentine's vlog i've got a couple of appointments coming up which is what i'm way to go to right now so i thought i would just do my appointments with you i'm getting my eyebrows done i'm getting a facial done tomorrow and then obviously it's valentine's day after that so i thought i would vlog the whole process what me and dale are getting up to which what we're doing is on monday we've got a spa day at the ardo house hotel and then we have got a meal at night at malmaison so that's what we're doing for valentine's so that would just be nice to vlog that and vlog my appointments as well so today i am getting my eyebrows done which explains by the way the drastic change from the first video of me with makeup on and now me sitting here i've got not a pick of makeup on and my eyebrows are very thin and just very flat and not how i like them at all but they won't be very soon because ashley is a way to work her magic so i'm going to go to van e studio which is where i get my eyebrows done i go for my nails my hair they're literally like my glam squad i honestly love it in there and i'll show you the salon and stuff like it's all pink it's honestly amazing so i'm gonna get my eyebrows done right now brow lamination and then tomorrow i am going to the doll's house in cult they kindly asked me if i'd like to come in and get a facial done so I'm really excited about that and i'm getting dermaplaning which i've never had done before but i'm really excited because i've got like loads of fluff here and sometimes when i put my makeup on it's really annoying so i am really excited to have that done so i'll vlog that as well and then valentine's so i thought that would just be a nice wee vlog so i'm gonna go to my appointment right now take you guys with me to get my brows done and i will see you in the process of having better eyebrows i also just wanted to say i really would have liked to have said at the start of this video like thank you for the support on my first video or whatever but i honestly don't even know how that's going to go yet because i'm posting it tonight so i haven't posted it yet and i've already started recording this one so thank you in advance <laughs> thank you from the the future to whoever like has supported it and whatnot i honestly don't know how it's gonna go but i'm gonna say thank you in advance to whoever does i really appreciate it so here is vanity studio where i'm gonna get my brows done all pink <laughs> Are you ready to see what these brows look like from how thin, flat, fair they looked a few minutes ago? One, two, three. Honestly, like I absolutely, I can't explain how much I love getting my eyebrows done. I don't feel like myself unless I have TVT brows by Ashley, like literally just makes such a difference to your face. I couldn't really film that much when she was doing them because she had someone looking over her today. So obviously I just took a few clips, but these are the brows nice and fresh i like them big i like them dark but obviously not everyone's brows would look like this if they got tvt brows it depends what your actual brow hairs are like and what you want to go for but this is how i like them before i had this done my brows were so thin they were just shit like in all honesty they were really really shit so ever since ashley started doing tvt brows to them like that's this is just the way i like my brows looking at. i would never change it like i would never go for hd brows or anything now i don't think i would always just stick to the tvt so this is my first appointment my brows are done tomorrow i have a facial so i will be back then and then obviously it's valentine's and then we'll be vlogging that too so i will see you guys tomorrow it is facial day so i said i would see you guys tomorrow but this is actually now friday because basically i didn't think about this but i just got my eyebrows laminated this is what they look like now by the way this lighting is popping yeah i didn't think about this when you get your eyebrows laminated i don't know why i just said laminated like that when you get your eyebrows laminated <laughs> i was saying there basically it obviously is like perming and then waxing so the skin can be quite sensitive around that area so kirsty advised that maybe it wouldn't be such a good idea because my eyebrows had just been freshly laminated didn't even think of that and then ashley also said to try avoid the area so what we did was we just pushed my appointment forward another day so this is now friday facial day a way to get my dermaplaning done so basically kirsty at the doll's house kindly reached out to me and asked if i'd like to come in have a facial done and just kind of like vlog the whole process so that is what i'm doing i'm actually so excited i've never had it done before like i've already said but i went for i think it's called the doll face one so i'm having der dermaplaning done and then it's the led mask which i have had done before but i'm really excited for the dermaplaning because like i said i've got a lot of like fuzz here and i just think my makeup's gonna look so much better so i'm really excited for that i'll try vlog the whole kind of like process show you guys the salon and stuff but yeah i'm really excited my 
skin is really good. I'll show you in this light end. I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Excuse how pale I look, by the way, because I usually put Insta Glow on, but I thought because I'm about to have a facial done, there's absolutely no point of putting tan on because it's just going to come off. So that is why I look so pale. So please excuse that. But I'm going to drive to the doll's house now in cult, and then I will show you guys when I am having my facial done. We are here. I just reverse parked for the first time in over a year because I only used to reverse park at my old work and I've never done it since and I just done it. I'm so proud of myself. But we're here, so I'm gonna go in right now and go get my facial done. Let's just do a quick skin check before I go in. So this is how it's looking right now. Very clear apart from that little under the skin spot that I've got. Here we are, so cute. the skin is looking right after the doll face facial like you can see how instantly glowy hydrated it honestly looks amazing i've got an oil on my skin right now and a post mask deep hydration moisturizer i think i don't know kirstie's gonna send me all the details of this stuff but she actually gave me the little multivitamin oil away with me so i can use this at night time so i'm really excited to use this because i don't actually use an oil in my nighttime skincare routine i use a serum but i know oils and serums are totally different so i'm really excited to use this but this is how the skin is looking that's have a close-up obviously my skin was really good before i went in there like i take such good care of my skin that is what i work with is skincare so my skin is good i'm not being able to take a blade over it every single day that takes the top layer of your skin off because it wouldn't be good to do that for a start but kirsty explained to me that this is more like a short term kind of thing like it's not something that's going to upkeep your skin and keep your skin looking good you need to take care of your skin anyway but this is amazing for stuff like weddings events like special things that you've got coming up photo shoots stuff like that because it just makes your skin instant look like this like honestly and i've just realized this is going to be like a little bit of a pamper vlog because i've had this facial done today and on monday when it's valentine's me and dale are going for massages at the ardo so i'm having a full pamper i'm honestly so here for it i tried to vlog as much as i could in there so basically i went in she spoke to me about my skin like asked me what skin type i am looked over it and stuff like super professional and then we did a glycolic wash for like the cleanse and then she took like the hot towel over it it was honestly so relaxing like i feel so like i don't know this just feels like new skin because i said that at the end and she was like well it is because she's literally taken off the top layer of my skin with the blades but yeah so she did the glycolic wash with the hot towel and she went in with the blading then i had the led mask and that changes color for different things so there's like green blue pink yellow and it's like antibacterial anti-aging oily like blemish like it does so many different things the led mask and then she did the multivitamin oil she put that on and then i got like the deep hydration like post something mask because not a mask sorry it's a moisturizer because when you're blading she said it can make your skin quite dehydrated because she's obviously like scraping it so that's why she's instantly put all these oils and moisturizers on just to like get that hydration back on my skin but honestly i am so chuffed with it like it literally looks amazing in my skin it feels so soft and so smooth but that was so nice the salon was amazing kirsty was amazing i had such a good time so thank you again to kirsty at the doll's house for having me in i absolutely loved it but yeah this was facial day and i will see you guys again on monday when it is valentine's we're going to the ardo for a spa day massages and our meal at night time <laughs> weren't in the biggest rush.
rush ever. So we are literally away to go jump in the car right now and drive to the Ardo, get our spa day. I think it's afternoon tea as well. So we've got like two treatments we're getting done and then we get to use the facilities and stuff. So got on. Honestly, this room is an absolute bomb site as well. I'm trying to like hide it whilst I'm videoing this and it's just not working. Put on a bikini underneath this tracksuit. And you know, I thought it would be fitting for Valentine's Day wearing these colours. So this is the Valentine's Day fit. And there will obviously be a Valentine nighttime fit when we are going for our meal later on. Also, I will do like the presents and stuff when we come back. We've got some time like when after our treatments and our spa day to our meal. So I'll do that after. But he always gets me the biggest bunch of roses ever and he's got me a wee present as well but we're not sure which one we're gonna keep so i will show you guys after but so there's got he's got other ones downstairs but just not sure which ones i'm gonna go for i do think i like them ones the best but there is some other ones downstairs that i've been looking at for a while so i will show them as well and decide what ones i'm gonna keep oh. <laughs> lemon water. choking a lemon water before we go let's go how do you feel to be on youtube <laughs> <laughs> we are en route. Are you excited for your massage? I'm not really. I'm not so <laughs> and your spa day? <laughs> I've also just noticed that the seatbelt now matches my whole outfit. <laughs> I planned this well. We've not had a massage since our last anniversary, yeah. have we? Which was not last December, but the December before that. We got a fake tan last night, which is why I like more tan than usual. Yeah, we well, haven't had one since two Decembers ago, so this is very needed. We thought we would just have a nice spa day for Valentine's. I've never actually been to the Ardo before, but you have, have you? Yeah. You went at Christmas time. I've never been. They was like, what do you think we should wear? I was like, we're going for a spa day. And then he was like, yeah, but it's quite posh. And I was like, yeah, but like, you're going for a spa day. Like, no one's going to be like wondering like what you're wearing. So I was like, I'm just wearing a tracksuit. Comfort is key. You don't want to come out of a massage and put like, yeah, for dress for the occasion. I got you a new tracksuit for your Valentine's, <laughs> but the bottoms are too big. No tracksuits alive. We actually went in the wrong entrance and so now we're trying to find the right one. This just looks like a maze, does it? <laughs> what the fuck? We're just walking about. That looks like it, does it? We found it. Finally. I'm such a gentleman, come on. <laughs> I was literally poured the whole bucket of water on the... What is that? Don't. Yeah. I'm not bigger money. As soon as we came in, he said, go pick one of those stones up for me. No. I think I'm stupid. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> so we just had a little swim. We went in the hot tub, did we? And then we went in the steam room and now we're in the sauna. We obviously can't really film that much in here because I don't think you're allowed and there's people like in the swimming pool, kids and stuff. <laughs> I'm 
tried to charge it then. Yeah, I know, you just had a massage and now you're about to have a iced Americano. <laughs> So we're done our massages now. I look like an absolute grease ball because you got to choose between four things. So we chose the massage and I wasn't sure if I was gonna go for the facial because I obviously just got dermaplane and done on Friday. I went for the facial anyway. They did a scalp massage with it and she was like, do you want the oil through your hair? And then I was thinking, do I? But I know that I'm washing my hair and we prefer we go out tonight. So I was like, yeah, I'll just have the oil in my hair. I had to go for afternoon tea with a napper like that. So yeah, that's why I look greasy. But yeah, I went for the massage and the facial it was really good. We were in separate rooms though, were we? We went to Malmaison for a massage before we were in the same room and it was quite nice, but we were in separate rooms, but it was still really good. We had afternoon tea and then we're done and um, we just went and got a Starbucks and now we're just driving back to the house. I got a hibiscus iced tea laminate with one pump of peach and two pumps of strawberry. Loads of people were getting this last year, so if you've not tried it, then get on it. Okay, we're home. And remember, I said Dale got me a gift, but I wasn't sure which one I was gonna go for because there was another one that I liked. So this is the ones that he got me, and I love them. The coconut milk Jordans, so nice. But I've really wanted a pair of Dunks for so long now. I really like these ones, pink velvet ones, but they wouldn't go with as much stuff and I also was wearing a pair of pink Jordans today. So I feel like I don't need a pair of pink Jordans and a pair of pink dunks. So these, I've really wanted these for a long, long time. Panda dunks. It's really between the panda dunks and the coconut milk Jordans. I think I'm more leaning towards the dunks because like, just look how cool these look from the front. Oh. I, I think I'm gonna go for these. These are so nice. The coconut milk Jordans would go with a lot, but I feel like these would go with more. I just really like them. Like, I just love them. Like, I just really love these. I feel like I love these more than I love them. Honestly, see if I could have every pair of trainers that I like. I actually would. And half of them would sit there and I would only wear, wear them one or two times, but they would go with a particular outfit. But that would honestly be me. So that was my dilemma. I think I'm gonna go with the dunks, but I'm honestly not sure. It's such a hard pick. We are en route to our meal. Wait, as always. We've actually never been on time to Adam, have we? Never been on time for I've never been on time for Adam, but are you not? Nice? <laughs> I actually take so long to get that new, but I had to wash my hair, so well, give me a break. There's one plus side. We get to decide what we're gonna have for food more because we've got time to think about it. Soup, soup, yeah, I'm having soup because last time we came here, I ordered something I don't usually have, and I hate when you do that. And you think, you want to have oh, I'm gonna try something new. But you actually wanted what I had, so don't <laughs> say that. You did want it. You just know what you like, and then when you see something new, you're like, oh, I might get that, and then you get it, and it's shit. You should have just went with what you actually liked in the first place. So I thought I would show off the full outfit because I didn't really get to do it before we left because we were in that much of a rush. And this is my favourite outfit of this year so far, which is not hard because it's only Friday and I've not even been anywhere. But I think this is going to be hard to beat. So the t-shirt is Moschino, which is from ASOS. Bag is Pretty Little Thing and boots are, I think, Eagle, but I got them on ASOS also. Obsessed. Wow guys, that is the wee Valentine's come to my apartments with me vlog over. I really don't know how it's even came out because I have filmed so much stuff like over different days and it's just been all over the place and I really don't know how it's gonna come out. So I hope it comes out okay and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was my first ever kind of wee vlog but I'm definitely gonna do more of them like a day in the life of, like spend a weekend with us. Like whenever we've got anything booked, it will be being vlogged. So I'll definitely get better at them but I really hope you guys you guys enjoyed this and I also now know the response I got from posting my first video because since I started recording this I have posted it and I've got messages and things from people and I just really wanted to say thank you so much I really didn't expect it at all like for everyone that subscribed or liked or even watched the video, like sent me a nice message, like whatever it was. I just want to say thank you so much because I really didn't expect it at all. And I honestly can't believe it, like from absolute strangers, like the nicest things being said possible. It just honestly made me feel like 
so happy so i just want to say thank you so much and i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope it's came out okay and we plenty more to come so like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching